Hello there garden enthusiasts and welcome back to the Growing with Glenna YouTube channel. And today we are going to unbox, set up, and review this Anleo Life raised garden bed from Amazon. Will it work? Can it be set up in a day? Let's check and see. So I did a little research and decided to go with the eight foot by four foot by two foot raised bed from Amazon made by Anleo Life Company. Lumber and hardware would be around $100. These box sets are worth every penny of the additional $60, if they work. So that's what we're going to see. The Anleo Life Galvanized Raised Bed comes with everything you need. Curved and straight panels made of sturdy 22 gauge, eight millimeter thick corrugated galvanized steel along with screws, wing nuts, and even a pair of garden gloves. The same screw and wing nut are used in every hole. The instructions are easy to understand with good illustrations. I figured with the same screw and wing nut, how hard could it be? <laughs> My fellow Terra Hill farmer and our trusty sidekick Cavalier Remy tackled the job and were determined to complete it in less than a day. Step one in building the raised bed is to screw together the three curved pieces that make up each end. The box kit even comes with a Phillips head screwdriver so you can tighten each joint as you go. The edges of each metal piece are curved and the metal is powder coated. You don't have to worry about cutting yourself on a sharp edge. Definitely a bonus. Step two, piecing together two straight pieces of metal to create the sides. These are attached to the two ends using those same screws and wing nuts. It took us about 30 minutes to build the first bed. Here it is, I speeded up the time lapse so you can see each step and the ease of which it was built. It feels sturdy. I like the way it looks. I can easily reach across the middle and it's lightweight enough for us to relocate our build by our shade house garden. At this point, Remy and I both think this is going to be a good purchase, but the true test is how it holds up when it is filled with soil. Step three, preparing the site. After removing weeds and leveling the ground, we place weed fabric underneath the beds for weed control. Ensuring the bed was oriented north-south maximizes sun exposure, which is crucial for healthy plant growth. After moving the bed to its north-south facing site, I used the included screwdriver to tighten all of the screws. Almost every single one had loosened in the move. I like it, it looks good. The gray matches the metal of our barn dough and it blends in with the nature around us. Step four is putting in a soil mix. Look around, as far as the eye can see, there's sand, <laughs> not rich organic soil ready to grow plants. Well, duh, that's the reason why I'm building a raised bed garden. With measurements of eight by four by two, this bed has a 478 gallon soil capacity. Uh, that's a lot of soil. If you were to buy miracle Grow, it would cost you $10 a bag for an outrageous price of $420. I could fill it with cheap topsoil, but I would still have to add more to make the right mix for growing healthy plants. Here comes the Terra Hill Farm 2024 Soil Mix. We repurposed last year's potting soil from all the tubs. We mixed in 50% mushroom compost from Modern Mayor Mushroom that's been sitting out for about a week, and a bit of sand for added drainage. You can hand mix this, but the tractor's bucket was much more efficient. Here it is a nutrient-rich mix that will provide our plants with everything they need to thrive. He thinks step four is still we're going to put in that soil? Nope. Step five is to fill the bottom third of the bed using a modified hoople culture method. Remember, it's 478 gallons to fill it. We mixed our own type of miracle Grow, but it's going to use up a lot of that soil mix. So what to do? Instead of those pricey bags of garden soil or using up all our soil mix, we layered a bit of sand over the weed fabric followed by a layer of rotting wood in the bottom third of the bed. This not only saves money, but also enhances soil fertility and water retention. Perfect for hot and dry climates like Central Texas. 
Once the wood is in place and soaked, we added our custom soil blend and smoothed it out. With a bit of water, our beds are ready for planting. There you have it folks, a raised garden bed from Amazon made by Enlia Life, built in a day, filled with a rich soil mix using hugo culture. It was easy to construct, looks good, is sturdy, easy to reach, and will last for years. If time is money, then this raised bed from Amazon made us some big bucks and is about to help us grow bountiful harvest all season long. Did you like this video? Then give it an enthusiastic thumbs up. And if you want more gardening ideas and adventures, then subscribe to the Growing with Glenna YouTube channel and join us in the gardening fun.